The 2024 election ushered in a new Republican administration, promising a significant reshaping of the American economic landscape. Their platform centers on a core set of policy shifts designed to stimulate growth, boost domestic industries, and control inflation. These changes represent a departure from previous economic strategies and have generated both excitement and concern among economists and the public alike. This essay will delve into these key policy shifts, exploring their potential benefits and challenges. We aim to provide a clear and accessible overview of what to expect in the coming years. This new economic agenda focuses on five key areas, tax cuts, deregulation, energy independence, protectionism, and inflation control. Each of these pillars plays a crucial role in the overall strategy and has the potential to significantly impact various sectors of the economy. Understanding these interconnected policies is essential for navigating the changing economic landscape and anticipating future trends. The projected impacts range from increased business investment to potential trade disputes and inflationary pressures. The Republican administration believes that these policies will create a more business-friendly environment, spurring innovation and job creation. However, critics argue that these policies may exacerbate existing inequalities, increase the national debt, and lead to unintended consequences. This analysis will examine both sides of the argument providing a balanced perspective on the potential outcomes of this ambitious economic shakeup. We will explore the historical precedents, current economic conditions, and potential future scenarios. The goal of this essay is to provide readers with a comprehensive understanding of the Republican economic agenda and its potential implications. We will explore the theoretical underpinnings of each policy, examine the available data, and consider the potential impacts on various sectors of the economy. By providing a nuanced and accessible analysis, we hope to empower readers to make informed decisions about their own financial futures. The information presented here is intended for educational purposes and does not constitute financial advice. Tax cuts are a cornerstone of the Republican economic strategy, with the aim of stimulating economic growth by leaving more money in the hands of individuals and businesses. The administration plans to make the Trump-era tax cuts permanent further reducing the tax burden on corporations and high-income earners. This approach is based on the supply-side economics theory, which posits that tax cuts incentivize investment and job creation, ultimately leading to higher tax revenues. However, critics argue that this theory has not always held true in practice. The proposed tax cuts are projected to add trillions to the national debt over the next decade, raising concerns about the long-term fiscal health of the country. While proponents argue that the resulting economic growth will offset the revenue loss, critics point to historical evidence suggesting that tax cuts rarely pay for themselves. The debate over the efficacy of tax cuts as a stimulus measure is ongoing, with economists on both sides presenting compelling arguments. The actual impact will likely depend on a variety of factors, including the overall economic climate and the specific design of the tax cuts. Furthermore, the distributional effects of the tax cuts are a subject of intense debate. While proponents argue that the benefits will trickle down to all segments of society, critics contend that the cuts disproportionately benefit the wealthy, exacerbating income inequality. The administration maintains that the tax cuts will create jobs and boost wages for everyone, but critics argue that the benefits will primarily accrue to those already well off. The impact on income inequality will be a key metric to watch as the tax cuts are implemented. The administration also proposes eliminating taxes on tips for restaurant and hospitality workers, a move intended to boost their take-home pay. While this measure is likely to be popular with those affected, critics argue that it is a relatively small change that will not significantly impact the overall economy. They argue that broader structural reforms are needed to address wage stagnation and income inequality. The long-term effects of these tax cuts, both positive and negative, remain to be seen. Deregulation is another key component of the Republican economic agenda, with the goal of reducing the burden of government regulations on businesses. The administration argues that excessive regulation stifles innovation and job creation, and that reducing red tape will unleash the full potential of the American economy. 
they plan to roll back regulations in a variety of sectors, including environmental protection, financial services, and healthcare. However, critics argue that deregulation can lead to negative consequences, such as environmental damage and financial instability. One of the primary targets of deregulation is the auto industry. The administration plans to reverse regulations on fuel efficiency and emissions, arguing that these rules increase the cost of cars and make American manufacturers less competitive. They also intend to prevent Chinese vehicle imports, protecting the domestic auto industry from foreign competition. However, critics argue that these measures will harm the environment and limit consumer choice. The long-term impact on the auto industry and the environment remains to be seen. The administration also plans to streamline the permitting process for businesses, making it easier to start and expand operations. This is intended to encourage entrepreneurship and job creation, particularly in underserved communities. However, critics argue that streamlining permitting can lead to environmental damage and safety risks, if not done carefully. The balance between promoting economic growth and protecting public health and safety is a delicate one. The administration believes that deregulation will create a more dynamic and competitive economy, leading to higher productivity and greater prosperity. However, critics argue that deregulation can lead to a race to the bottom, where businesses cut corners on safety and environmental protection in order to compete. The long-term effects of deregulation will depend on how it is implemented and the specific regulations that are targeted. Careful consideration of the potential risks and benefits is essential. The pursuit of energy independence is a central theme of the Republican economic platform. The administration aims to increase domestic energy production, particularly of fossil fuels like oil, natural gas, and coal. They argue that this will create jobs, reduce energy costs for consumers, and enhance national security by reducing reliance on foreign energy sources. However, Critics express concerns about the environmental impact of increased fossil fuel production, particularly its contribution to climate change. The administration plans to streamline permitting processes for energy projects, making it easier to drill for oil and gas and build pipelines. They also intend to roll back environmental regulations that they believe are hindering energy development. These measures are intended to boost domestic energy production and create jobs in the energy sector. However, environmental groups argue that these policies will exacerbate climate change and harm ecosystems. The debate over the balance between energy independence and environmental protection is likely to continue. In addition to promoting fossil fuels, the administration also plans to invest in alternative energy sources such as solar, wind, and nuclear power. They argue that a diverse energy portfolio is essential for long-term energy security and economic stability. However, critics argue that the administration's focus on fossil fuels undermines efforts to transition to a cleaner energy future. The level of investment in alternative energy will be a key indicator of the administration's commitment to addressing climate change. The administration's goal is to achieve energy dominance, where the United States becomes a net exporter of energy. They believe that this will strengthen the American economy and enhance global influence. However, Critics argue that focusing solely on energy production ignores the importance of energy efficiency and conservation. They contend that a more holistic approach to energy policy is needed to address the challenges of climate change and ensure long-term energy security. The administration's energy policies will have far-reaching consequences for both the economy and the environment. When it comes to protecting domestic industries, the government often steps in to create a buffer against international competition. This can be done through tariffs, subsidies, or even import quotas. These measures, while sometimes controversial, aim to preserve jobs and maintain economic stability within the country. However, there's always a fine line to walk, as overprotection can lead to inefficiencies and higher costs for consumers. It's a delicate balance, but one that many nations strive to achieve in order to safeguard their economic interests. Balancing the needs of domestic industries with the pressures of global trade is, well, a constant challenge. Governments must weigh the benefits of protecting local jobs and businesses against the potential drawbacks of reduced international competitiveness. It's a complex equation requiring careful consideration of both short-term gains and long-term impacts. 
Ultimately, the goal is to create an environment where domestic industries can thrive without isolating the nation from the global economy. Achieving this balance is no easy feat, but it's essential for sustainable economic growth. History has a lot to teach us, especially when it comes to economic cycles. By looking back, we can better understand the patterns and make more informed decisions for the future. In any economic shift, there are always those who come out ahead and those who fall behind. It's crucial to recognize these dynamics to mitigate negative impacts and maximize opportunities for growth. The economic landscape is often unpredictable. Navigating these uncertain waters requires a combination of strategic planning, adaptability, and a keen understanding of market signals. As we look to the future, charting a clear economic course is essential. It involves setting realistic goals, leveraging available resources, and staying resilient in the face of challenges. 